morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you guys are new. I am Chris Lieben's fiance and we are going to be going over groceries and why I buy the things I buy when he's preparing to go out there and perform and fight and let you guys all, you know, see the fireworks. So this is what I do lots and lots of research so let me explain why we get what we eat and everything like that so let's get to it all right guys so to prepare us we've started this week monday we had some food we had quinoa we are not eating any more white rice and we don't have brown rice actually in the uh in the house, Chris doesn't like it. I enjoy it more than he does, but let me just give you a couple facts about how much starch is in each cup. So for quinoa, it's 89 grams, and for brown rice, it's 134 grams per cup of, um, and in one cup of white rice, there's 61 grams of starch, but he, Quinoa versus brown rice. Quinoa has a lot more fiber and a lot more protein than brown rice. Like twice as much. Like a whole bunch. Anyway, we are just trying to make our way down to actually canceling out the quinoa. So we're going from white rice to quinoa and then eventually we're going to cut out the quinoa and we're just going to go to saute spinach. <laughs> I know, right? It's insane, so, but that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, that just means Chris is going to be sick of spinach by the end of this fight camp. One of the drinks that's going to get me through the day during this fight camp is a banana, half a cup of coffee, and a tablespoon of peanut butter, um, a tablespoon of agave, a cup of ice, and a half a cup of any milk of my choosing so it could be rice milk almond milk we have hazelnut milk I uh, I am staying away from dairy so Chris needs of course a low inflammation diet if you guys don't know um, his hands are huge and I guess he has some muscles in his hands because people have told me that he punches really hard so in order to keep his hands working and mobile um, it's going to be a low inflammation, arthritis friendly diet. Low inflammation diets can help hypertensive patients. So I don't know if you have hypertension out there watching, but yeah, low inflammation is something to consider. We do not have any concentrated juices. My banana coffee drink, I am, that's going to be my happy drink. I wanted to talk about what we're going to be doing to lean Chris's body out and my body out. Um, for this, guys, we are cutting out bacon, cutting out ham, cutting out sausage. We don't really do that anymore. Crit, or we haven't done that. I'm actually allergic to hot dogs. I'm allergic to um, ham. I'm allergic to all deli meats, all prepared deli meats. Ever, like boar's head, I'm allergic to boar's head. I can literally only have chicken, beef, eggs for protein and fish. For example, Chris and I ate, with Liam, we all shared five chicken thighs. And we got these from Costco, they're organic chicken thighs. Do you think that five, five chicken thighs are before? That did not fill me up. That did not fill Chris up at all. It actually took five or six weeks until we were actually able to, like, our bodies were able to grab all the nutrition. The zinc and the creatine are really good in the eggs. Uh, the beef have, has omega-3 fatty acids. Fish and eggs, again, B6, B12. All helps with those flabby arms. Another snack that we are probably going to go get for walnuts, Brazil nuts, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds. You can take any of these nuts and mix them in peanut butter. If you guys don't notice, like it's going to be like a peanut butter fight camp. Another thing that I would go shopping for is tons and tons of beans, uh, garbanzo beans. We have that 
currently in our cupboard. We have black beans in our cupboard. We are out of red kidney beans unless we have like two jars left. But um, garbanzo beans are great for diabetes. The lentils help women with breast cancer. Red kidney beans are anti-aging. The navy beans are heart healers. The black beans are the brain boosters. We have tons of black berries. Any kind of berries, if you can just get like a big bundle of berries, those are really good. So we're going to be doing a lot of maybe berry smoothies. Um, Liam loves, 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 loves frozen blueberries. Of asparagus, uh, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, all that stuff. So if you guys have been with us through fight camp, and if you guys have seen the fight camp meal prepping and dinner plans, I'm just giving you guys a prep. Like this is what you guys are in for if you guys are interested. Um, so I'm going to be going back to doing the meal plans and meal prepping and you know dinners every night. So those are the videos that you guys will be seeing. If you guys have an opinion about that, comment below and I'll get back to you. Or if you guys like that idea, give it a thumbs up. Regula, that is a bone builder. Um, it protects against osteoporosis. I am really sorry for the quality of the video. I've been trying to record while I've had Liam, so I'm sorry for all the glitches. If you guys haven't subscribed and would like to see the meal plans, uh, go ahead and subscribe. And if you guys have made it this far, I really hope you guys found it informational. And I, anyways, I just wanted to apologize. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really do hope you guys found find it uh, informational. I really do. Anyway, have a good one. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye. Apples and grapefruits are good. Watermelon and cantaloupe. Um, I have to have watermelon melon and cantaloupe for Liam. Um, and a tip for checking the cantaloupes. Um, you're, you're looking for a hollow sound and slap the cantaloupe. Don't don't knock on it uh, for the watermelons weigh them because that'll just kind of tell you like how heavy the the water and the you know the mass is inside so if you can grab a regula that is a bone builder um, it protects against osteoporosis crest prevents cigarette smoke and um, air pollutants from causing lung cancer or it could help prevent it I'm not going to be pronouncing anything correct in this video. It helps with the breathing. Spinach, it is a late stage site save, saver. <laughs> um, so it is a site sharpener. Um, it protects against old age site because it has gluten and zeax, zeaxithin. Romaine helps with cancer. Never heard of endive until I did some more research. It's a heart healer and it can help with heart disease. Mustard greens, uh, it is a brain booster. Now guys, if, um, if you've gotten this far, congratulations. <laughs> but this is amazing. Mustard greens, they've actually helped soldiers with concentration and memory focus. And like, you know, keeping your memories and improving memories. So this is actually a military study. It is a proven military um, military soldier study that it actually helps soldiers so that was pretty pretty cool I hope you guys found this informational um, I know it's all a little long but um, if you made it this far give this video a thumbs up and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week and catch you guys later Hey guys, I am really sorry for the quality of the video. I've been trying to record while I've had Liam, so I'm sorry for all the glitches. If you guys haven't subscribed and would like to see the meal plans, uh, go ahead and subscribe. And if you guys have made it this far, I really hope you guys found it informational. And I, anyways, I just wanted to apologize. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really do hope you guys found find it uh, informational. I really do. Anyway, have a good one, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye.